Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to test the radio out of the car. What you do is you need to get a adapter. In this case I'm using a 12 volt, 12 volt DC, one amp, thousand milliamps. Uh, this one came with this one, with this connection. I just cut it off. This is the two wires. So you need, you need a multimeter too. To check which one is positive and which one is negative and the way you do that you should turn on your your multimeter and then you connect this one to the outlet these ones are not touching so now you grab this one and this one and look at the multimeter And as you can see, it shows uh, negative it shows negative 15 volts. It's 12 volts, I don't know why it comes out with 15, but it doesn't matter. So, so as you can see, this is not the right way. This is uh, th that one, the negative is not negative. So I'm gonna swap it the other side this one over here and the other one over here so now you test it and as you can see now it's showing 15 volts so now it's right now you know that this one is positive and this one is negative. You can mark it or you just know about the markings on the cable. In my case, I can see the line, the gray line on the black cable. So I know that this is positive and this is negative. So now I take this off, turn it off, move this aside. Uh, you can use your pliers. What you need now is the, uh, the actual radio. You can disconnect this one so you don't make a short. Now the radio, you remove this one. Now by the colors, by the colors you know that the red one, uh, the red one is the um, the accessory. Um, 12 volt accessory when it when you switch the key and this is the yellow one is the constant power the yellow one so you're gonna use these two that are together you can see them they are marked they, they are marked they are in color so these two are positives and you put them together put them together like that and the negative this one the black one all the others are speakers I don't care about those so now that you know which one is positive and which one is negative you go and in my case the positive is the one with the gray line which is this one is the positive and I connect there it is positive 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 now the negative with the negative but this is not connected okay so no problem for this okay now it's connected now be careful that this don't come uh, together because after you connect it this is gonna be there's gonna be power going through these two wires and if these two short out you can short out the radio if, if it's connected it's gonna short out, short out the radio 
If not, it's gonna short out the uh, some of these cables or the adapter. So what you do now is you connect this thing to the um, to the back of your radio. That's it. The speakers you can connect if you want to test the speakers, but that's secondary. So now what you do here is you can see uh, accessory, constant power, negative, and this is negative to one black wire. The negative, negative, positive, 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 and now you. Um, You have to be careful when you connect this. Be sure that this or this is not touching this because this is gonna short out. So try to try to have it like that. I just took a little bit more so I can give me space. So now you're ready to connect, just connect it. And there should be power going to your radio. Uh, set up, yes, nope. Okay, so now 12 p.m., 12 p.m., quit, yes. Uh, as you can see, it's working now, right? That's all you need, 12 volt adapter. Um, find out which one is positive and negative from the adapter and then connect the two positives to the positive side and then the negative to the negative side and then there you have it the speakers are secondary because i can test those later on that's not a big problem for me one of the main things for me to find out is if this one was turned on and now that it's turned on i'm sure that this one is working now i'm ready to check the car and install it I hope this helps someone, just remember what you need, pliers, multimeter to find out which one is positive and which one is negative, an adapter 12 volts, in this case is 1 amp, um, cut out the, the cable, find which one is positive, negative, connect it, test and that's it, that's all you need. I hope this helps someone, have a nice day and be careful to not short anything out, bye.